Good morning and a very warm welcome. You're watching Janata Television and this is the English Bulletin with me, Sushan Dakal. Janata Television family wishes for peace, prosperity, well-being and longevity of our Nepalese as well as our viewers, advertisers, shareholders and well-wishers on the occasion of the Nepali New Year today. Now the top stories. Nepalese across the country celebrating New Year today, President extends greetings on the occasion. Government confirms 460 new cases of coronavirus. Number of active cases rises above 3,600. World Bank report says export can help Nepal's recovery. Projects economy to grow by 2.7% in the fiscal year. U.S. misses deadline to leave Afghanistan. Troops pull out to complete by September 11th. And PSG knockout holders Bayern from Champions League despite the loss. Chelsea follows suit. And now the news in detail. Nepalese across the country have been celebrating the new year today. This day marks the beginning of 2078th year of the Bikram era. People across the country have been involved in various religious, cultural and social functions to mark the new year. Many people start new enterprises on this very day. New calendar is unveiled weeks before the new year. The days and weeks are marked on the basis of the position of the sun while the festivals are fixed in accordance to the lunar calendar. Meanwhile, President Vidyadevi Bhandari has extended best wishes to the countrymen on the occasion of the new year. The government yesterday confirmed 460 new cases of coronavirus across the country. Following the latest round of tests, the total cases of coronavirus in the country have climbed to 280,984, while the number of active cases has increased to 3,608. According to Ministry of Health and Population, altogether 274,318 infected persons have recovered from the disease in the country so far. The death toll from coronavirus has climbed to 3,058 following the deaths of five more patients yesterday. Nepal is currently among the top 54 countries that have been most affected by the pandemic. The USA tops the list with over 32 million confirmed cases, followed by India with over 13.87 million cases. Coronavirus has infected more than 138 million people across the world and claimed 2.97 million lives. This is Janata Bulletin. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back. After the break, we continue with other national news. In the first eight months of the current fiscal year, remittance of Rs 642.14 billion has entered Nepal. According to Nepal Rastra Bank, the inflow of remittances has increased by 8.6% even in the current economic situation of the country until February of the current fiscal year. Remittance inflow had increased by 1.5% in the corresponding period of the previous year. In US dollars, remittance inflow has increased by 5% to 5.45 billion. During the review period, the number of Nepalese seeking final labor approval, institutional and individual, for foreign employment has decreased by 74.8%. The number had increased by 24.2% in the corresponding period of the previous year. The number of Nepalese seeking re-employment abroad has decreased by 65.2% during the review period. The same number had decreased by 2.7% in the corresponding period of the previous year. And now the news from the economic front. After contracting for the first time in 40 years, Nepal's economy is projected to grow by 2.7% in the fiscal year 2021. According to the World Bank, the growth will be driven primarily by services as social distancing measures continue to be relaxed and vaccines rolled out for priority populations. The World Bank, in its latest Nepal development update, 
states that agriculture is also expected to perform well. On the back of recent favorable monsoons, issuing a statement on Monday, the World Bank said that exports could be a powerful platform to boost post-pandemic recovery and enable Nepal to transition towards green, resilient and inclusive development. The update notes that the tourism sector may not fully recover without reforms to readjust to a post-COVID-19 tourism market. The current account deficit is expected to widen marginally in fiscal year 2021 to 1.2%. We will now be broadcasting the live wishes from our Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli. Nepalese across the country celebrating New Year today, President extends greetings on the occasion. Government confirms 460 new cases of coronavirus. Number of active cases rises above 3,600. World Bank report says export can help Nepal's recovery. Projects economy to grow by 2.7% in the fiscal year. U.S. misses deadline to leave Afghanistan. Troops pull out to complete by September 11th. And PSG knockout holders Bayern from Champions League despite the loss. Chelsea follows suit. 